Chris, obviously, Naquan Brown was committed elsewhere for a long time. So, you know, how quickly did things come about to, you know, get back in contact with him? Um, I stayed in contact with him for most of the period, uh, the recruiting period. So, um, to, I think I had offered him, you know, um, at, at the other place I was at, too. You know, so it was one of those things. We've had a long relationship. So, it was, you know, when, when things kind of went a different way there, you know, I wanted to try to be there to pick up the pieces, and that happened pretty quick after that. You've been uh, you're a Virginia guy, and you coach high school football in Virginia, Chris. Uh, you know, do you have a, on a first name basis with a lot of those coaches down there? Is that part of the reason you're able to take some of these kids from Virginia and Virginia Tech? Um, I think so. You know, uh, relationships, recruiting is relationships. You know, that's what it is. Obviously, I know that a lot of those coaches really well. Um, everywhere I've been, I've always tried to recruit down there. That's home for me. You know, so it's it's a um, an area of the, of the country that's got great football, you know, and they've got great coaches too. And, and I understand that, respect that. And I think they know that, um, that I do. So they always want to send me guys and I'm happy to have them <laughs> when we can get them. So. How much has continuity in the staff helped when you're recruiting, uh, especially the last couple of years here? Um, I think it helps. I mean, it's always good to have the same people. So. Like I said earlier, uh, recruiting is relationships. And so the longer you can develop those relationships and over the more time that you have to do it, um, gives you more of a chance to be successful in recruiting and, and, and anything else too, you know, cause you know kind of what you're getting into. You kind of know how the other people think and what people really think of you over time um, as opposed to just something that happened overnight. You know, so I, I think those things all go together. Continuity is a big deal. Does uh, Jaden Bradley bring something different that maybe you haven't had at least this past year just from his, his pure physical size? Yeah, I mean, I think when we, uh, you know, you start putting together what your recruiting board or what your room wants to look like, you know, I want to be as fast as we can. I think we've got some, we added some speed last year with Jordan and, and Jalen. The first thing we wanted to try to do this year is to get somebody to go with, with uh, Jared and somebody in that kind of mold. Um, and so he was one of the guys I targeted early, you know, um, uh, as far as recruiting goes. And, and we as a staff, you know, felt like he would be a good fit. And, and he does give us something different uh, in that room, you know, particularly what we got last year with the speed guys that we got. You know, he's a, he's a different different element. With someone like Jaden, I mean, he, he played quarterback growing up. Uh, he's kind of new to receiver and he didn't have a season this year. so. What, what kind of advantages or disadvantages does that have? Are you able to kind of, you know, maybe shake some bad habits with him or just start with new ones with him? Yeah, I, I have always liked uh, recruiting quarterbacks, no matter what position I'm recruiting them for, you know, because I think those guys are more cerebral. You know, they, they have to think the game through. So, you know, you're getting somebody that can, has seen a bigger picture than just, hey, I run the post on this. He understands, okay, this is how a route concept is put together. So those guys, football is a, slowed down a little bit for quarterbacks more so than some other positions. Uh, so I've always liked recruiting quarterbacks at receiver or, or DB or wherever. So, um, you know, I do think he's got some some ability that hasn't been tapped yet. And, and so I kind of like not having to break some habits, but I also know the people that have worked with him really well, you know, Coach Fred and the guys at DeMatha, they've done a great job with him. You know, he sends me, you know, videos and stuff to, to check him out. So um, you get a chance to see what he does. Obviously, you know, they post everything nowadays. So you get a chance to see how he's developed over over the last year. Um, and so I'm really excited to be able to work with him and uh, for his future. Chris, is there a wide receiver currently on your roster that you kind of like into what maybe Miles does best and just the way that uh, the way that he operates as a receiver? Yeah, I mean, I think he's got a little bit of Trey tip in, in him. You know, um, he's a long strider, but he, he's got quick feet. You know, he's got really good length because I think, you know, he's 6'1". You know, I've seen him listed, you know, several different heights. He's he's all a 6'1", with really long arms. Um, you know, so that length is something that's important. You know, gives you a chance to separate. 
he's more of a glider than he is a, a flat out burner. But I think he he does a nice job in transitioning in and out of his routes. Um, you know, so hopefully I think he can be a healthy Trey Tipton <laughs> as opposed to some of the injuries that Trey's had to endure. I assume you got a pretty happy group of receivers on the on the current squad after last night's news. What does that do for uh, uh, these guys going in the next year to have Kenny Pickett back? Uh, that's huge. I mean, that's the biggest signee of the of the class right there. So, uh, I mean, he's our leader, you know, and and the confidence that Kenny brings is immense. You know, I mean, you could tell that, you know, from the time when he's not out on the field. So, um, you know, the the receiver room is happy about it. The O-line room is happy about it, and the whole building is happy about it because I think he makes us a better team, uh, clearly. Coach, has DJ told you officially what he is doing? Any chance that he returns for next year? Uh, we've discussed it. We've talked uh, at length about it for really over the last week. Um, so, you know, I I'll let him go through his process that he needs to go through to figure out what he wants to do. Um, you know, but we've, we've been in contact, I actually talked to him maybe an hour ago, two hours ago um, now. So he, he's still in the process of, of mulling over his decision. You know, I think Kenny, you know, he, he's really your best recruiter right now. People have confidence in him. So um, we'll see where that goes, but I don't want to comment one way or the other as far as what's he's leaning.